Ambassador Haslak was sworn in as a U.S. Ambassador to Ethiopia only about three months ago. She previously served as Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary in the, in the U.S. Department of State's newest bureau, the Bureau of Conflict and Stabilization Operations. Prior to this, Ambassador Haslak was the State Department's coordinator for Iraq transition in the office of the Deputy Secretary for Management and Resources. Ambassador Haslak brings with her a long career dealing with development issues in countries undergoing transition. She served as a Deputy Coordinator for Diplomacy for the U.S. Global Hunger and Food Security Initiative, that's the Feed for the Future program, and visited Ethiopia in that capacity. She was ambassador to the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum, APEC. This is a large uh, group of countries. Ambassador to the Lao People's Demo Democratic Republic. She has also served as economic counselor in Pakistan and deputy economic counselor in Indonesia and Nigeria. I like this one. Ambassador Haslak has two daughters, Shirin and Kiran. Your Excellencies, friends, Ambassador Haslak. Thank you. Thank you, Jose. Um, first of all, I'd like to uh, welcome my colleagues. Thank you very much for your remarks, Dr. Elias, Dr. Babutande, Mr. Daniels, and of course, Dr. Bai. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to introduce this short video containing a message on family planning from U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, my boss. <laughs> As some of you have heard me say yesterday at the ministerial event, there have been great achievements in family planning, but there is still more work to be done. Helping women and young people make reproductive decisions that will improve their own health will lead to greater opportunities and more economic growth. I'm encouraged to see so many attending this conference to discuss this important issue, especially the 350 plus delegates, uh, youth delegates represented by Dr. Bai. Thank you very much. You will soon hear Secretary Kerry as the father of two young women, extend his gratitude for your hard work and dedication to this cause. As the mother of two beautiful daughters myself, I would also like to extend my thanks to all of you for your dedication to improving the reproductive health and rights of women. Thank you for the work you have done and continue to do. We talked about the demographic dividend. I think there's another word we should use today and that should be the multiplier. I can't believe how many people are here, and I can only imagine the multiplier effect of what you're going to be discussing and the contributions that you're going to make. So we hope this will ultimately lead to thriving families and communities and a more prosperous future. Now for Secretary Kerry. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome the thousands of you from governments around the world, NGOs, public and private organizations, and elsewhere who are taking part in the third biennial International Family Planning Conference. I'm really sorry that I couldn't be with you in person in Addis Ababa, but I want to tell you that as both the U.S. Secretary of State and the father of two extraordinary young women, I am exceedingly grateful for your hard work and dedication to this cause. Millions of women, men, and children have better lives today thanks to the work that many of you have done for decades. In 1994, when I was a U.S. Senator, I attended the historic International Conference on Population and Development. What was clear back then is still clear today, that challenges like reproductive health care and family planning are bigger than the political boxes that some try to force them into. These are basic human necessities that hundreds of millions of women are forced to go without. For some, it's because they can't afford or don't have access to these services. For others, 
It's because their husbands or their communities simply don't support their use. That's why the United States and our partners must continue our life-saving work to advocate for sexual health and reproductive rights. That includes universal access to voluntary family planning. At that population and development conference nearly two decades ago, we set a goal of ensuring universal access to reproductive health care by 2015. We've made enormous, really significant progress in the time since. But if we're going to meet that objective, the same objective outlined in the Millennium Development Goals, we'll all need to redouble our commitment to women and girls. We'll need to continue investing in effective programs like the United Nations Population Fund and the State Department's Global Health Initiative. And we'll need to find new ways to remind people that when women and girls are better able to stay healthy and pursue new opportunities, they are also better able to contribute to the success of their families, their communities, their countries, and the world. The fact is, when women and girls thrive, so do the people around them. On behalf of the entire U.S. State Department, I look forward to hearing what comes out of this important conference, and I look forward to working together to bring about a healthier and more prosperous future for families, from Addis to Adelaide and everywhere in between. Thank you for the work you're doing, and I hope you have a great meeting.